My name is Didi and I'll be showing you how to copy a directory in Linux. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So the first thing we're going to do is open up PowerShell on your system. As you can see, mine is already open. However, if you don't have yours installed yet, you can quickly go that, do that now. So just Google search PowerShell, follow the procedures, and then download. Once you have it installed, open it and make sure you're at the root directory or any directory you want to be in. Now we're using PowerShell because it works with Linux commands too, even though we're using um, Windows. So it basically gives the same feel and same command. That said, let's start by creating a new directory. Now, there are two ways to achieve this. One is by create is by using a path, and let's let's start. So you click. Um, just follow what I do on the screen. can find my stroke so using this and then create a folder uh, let's say HNG item type item type directory So this is what comes up. This is one way to create a part, right? The other method to creating a directory without using a part is to include a subfolder. So let's create um, a subfolder. We can say new item. Um, Let's say um, advanced methods, okay? Advanced or advanced, let's do advanced methods. Item type, directory. So this is what would pop out. So now you've created a directory either through the part or through the subfolder. Now the next thing we're going to do is to show the list of what we have. So we're going to just ls and this is what pops up. Okay. Now we can now create we can add a file to our subfolder or folder. Say, for instance, um, let's see, new item. Uh, HNG um, let's see we will make it yeah underscore now you have to be very careful with um, the consistencies you use so that it won't throw off error, um, errors in your code. So we will we will try off. Let's say we won't try off. Okay. Dot text. 
type tim type tim type file so this is a list so now we've created a new file okay now that we've created a directory with subfolders and a file let us now copy this directory into another part now let's say for instance i want to copy the hng directory into um, any of this um, folders here you know with any of the files so I will cut out write out CP slash again I'm going to come down here HNG space slash again uh, so okay let's do pictures yeah as a file i want to copy it into okay so now it has only shown my folder but it has not shown the files or the subfolders in this directory now to correctly copy all files and subfolders in a directory we're going to use the r command along with cp now the r stands for recursive and this will enable you copy all the elements or for some people they call it children of the directory along with the directory itself so now what we're going to do is to navigate back to the hng directory so we're going to now write out cp r space slash hng space slash pictures now it's still showing me the folders and so we're going to now write ls and there you have it you've been able to navigate inside the pictures folder to see the hng file which is this and you've been able to copy it into a new directory if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching